all I'm saying is that if, if it was going to take them a long time to make the schedule, that's okay. I don't mind. I honestly don't. If they say, we're not going to be able to get back to you guys for at least a month, like, cool. Just let me know when you come up with something. But they consistently miss deadlines and then set stricter ones for themselves, as if the community is going to be like, oh, thank you so much, you've you're really turning a new leaf now. I don't need them to turn a new leaf. I don't. They can be exactly as slow as they've always been. Just be realistic or honest or whatever the case may be. Looks like the likelihood of getting that bat is um, a lot higher if um, if you stay on the ground for as long as possible. That seems like that might be the secret to getting the bat to appear, because the bat's a lot more consistent for me at least, getting the boost forward. And it could just be my limited sample size, but every time I see the bat I feel like I'm pretty consistent in getting a forward boost. No, I got you. If they did that, that'd be smart. I mean, it's good to have stats like that. If you're running a charity marathon, if the goal is specifically to raise money, those are exactly the sort of stats you want. And honestly, I feel like in the past month I've matured a lot, and I've finally come to understand AGDQ fully. Like, it doesn't matter if my games don't get accepted. It doesn't matter if for the rest of my life I never play a game at a GDQ. Like, I'm not saying I'm not going to. I'm not being pessimistic. I'm saying it doesn't matter. Because the point's not for me to be on display. The point is the point is to raise money for charity. So if they don't think that my game is going to draw a crowd, then don't put it in there.
My CDI titles have gotten rejected every time, and that's fine. They think that the gameplay is not a good fit for a GDQ, and frankly, I think I'm starting to come to terms with the fact that that's probably true and okay. Alright, this is actually a pretty decent run, so if I can get the clip, then this is, like, good pace. I'm kinda nervous now. Great. No! I had it! I thought I had it. Eight seconds in the toilet. Well, ultimately, the faster boss fights, fights and some of the better strats in the stage are going to end up saving me time still, but... Which is cool. I was really hopeful I was going to get that clip. That would have been worth a lot of time. And that boss fight could have been even better. I really kind of botched that.
<laughs> Jam the Sam celebration. Dude, that was actually a legit time. And would have been almost... Would have been in the range of 11 flat if I had gotten the clip. I really don't want to go against these splits. I really just don't want to go against these splits. Would you guys hate me if I didn't make any more progress on this game? Oh, yeah, I don't know if you guys heard, I did get the word back from Twitch that uh, Leisure Suit Larry's banned. I'm going to continue fighting it, though, see if I can get them to basically take it back and um, let me stream it anyway. But uh, they did give a answer, finally, so it may not be the answer you were wanting, but <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there's a that's all, folks, at the end, I believe. After all the credits. <laughs> Scavenger, that PB was only good because of the bug stage. Honestly. Like, all the time that I saved in Speedy was um, based on better boss fights. I didn't get the clip. I just didn't softlock either, so I decided to keep going. Thank you. 